This week's movies, Amor, The Guilt Trip, and Zero Dark Thirty. If you thought there was some working group coming to the rescue, well, I want you to know that you're wrong. This is it. There's nobody else hidden away on some other floor. There is just us. And we are failing. Directed by Catherine Bigelow, Zero Dark Thirty tracks the long, twisted road to bin Laden's capture, beginning on September 11th and ending a decade later in Abbottabad, Pakistan. In her review, Manola Dargis writes, This movie is a cool, outwardly nonpartisan intelligence procedural. It is also a wrenchingly sad, soul-shaking story about revenge and its moral costs. You will never find him. As the movie heads towards its emphatically non-triumphant finish, it is impossible not to realize with anguish all that came before, the pain, the suffering, and the compromised ideals has led to this. Mais tu fais quoi? Tu avais laissé l'eau couler. Dis donc, qu'est-ce qui t'arrive? Tu es complètement folle? C'est une blague? Pardon? Directed by Michael Haneke, Amour takes a close look at an elderly French couple and their final days. In her review, Manola Dargis writes, Viewers may find Amour too cold, and its description of suffering a punishing, familiar gesture from a director who's long been interested in transforming spectators from simple consumers into critical thinkers. There are certainly arguments to be made about whether movie watching is ever simple or non-critical. Yet there's another point to be made here. Namely, that all the violence in Amour is critical to Mr. Hanukkah's rigorous, liberatingly unsentimental worldview, one that gazes on death with the same benevolent equanimity as life. All of which is to say, bring hankies. This is a film that will make you weep, not only because life ends, but also because it blooms. Do you want to come on my trip with me, Mom? You want to drive cross country with me? Yeah. No, it's, you know, we won't be gone long. It's only eight days. I can't wait! Directed by Ann Fletcher, The Guilt Trip stars Barbara Streisand and Seth Rogen as mother and son on a cross country road trip. In his review, Stephen Holden writes Contrary to what the title and casting might suggest, The Guilt Trip is not the shrew and the cringing meatball. Do you have any rooms available? Room for you and your lady. Lady? Andy, they have clip-on frog earrings. Oh. The guilt that Miss Streisand's character lays on her grown son is larded with enough sweetness and awareness of appropriate boundaries that its humor caresses rather than stings. You bring my mother in, it'll look crazy. You don't know I'm your mother, honey. Th that's even weirder than who are you? The chief pleasure of this mild-mannered dud lie in watching two resourceful comic actors go through their paces like the pros they are. Good luck, sweetheart. Thank you, ma'am. Nice to meet you. 